much you fear You are pulled from the wreckage Of your silent reverie You're in the arms of an angel May you find some comfort here You may be wondering, Caitlin why are you surrounded by stuffed animals? Or why do you even have that many for 19? Or maybe you've noticed that I'm wearing the same shirt from another vlog. That's because this is a WWF shirt. No, not the Wrestling Federation. The World Wildlife Federation. And that's what I'm going to talk about. I support animal rights. I don't know if they should have the same ones as humans per se, but I definitely don't think ladies should throw buckets of puppies off bridges or cats in the dumpster. Animals have feelings. They can get excited, they can yelp out in pain, they can cry, they can even smile when they get excited. How could you hurt something that you can tell doesn't want to be hurt? How could you hurt something that is the first thing to greet you when you've had a horrible day at work? The excited jumping up and down should make you smile. I've never owned a pet that's bigger than a guinea pig, but when I go over to my friends' houses and they have like a dog or a cat, I take advantage and I love it. I want to pet it the entire time I'm there. I've even been told on some occasions that animals react differently to me, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it's my aura. It's inviting. I'm even allergic to cats. But I would live Claritin and clear just to have one because I love animals that much. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future my house resembles something of the zoo. I'm not a vegetarian, but that isn't because I don't care. I can't help that chicken noodle soup is one of my favorite foods after anything Italian. But I respect their mission. Just because we're made to eat meat doesn't mean we have to. And most do it because of the way that the animals are treated. Videos like Meet Your Meat and If Slaughterhouses Had Glass Walls should not have to exist. That is just disgusting and pathetic and I can't believe people think that that's okay. I think PETA is a little bit radical for my taste, but at least they fight for what they support. How can you prove that you really support it if you don't fight for it? I know I do. I also think the ASPCA commercials are a little bit too much sometimes. Sarah McLaughlin has a beautiful voice, and that song is amazing. But I sometimes think the commercials go just a little bit over the top. But it makes my heart ache for the animals, so I guess the uh, point gets across, right? Mm -hmm. I also make sure that I always check labels on my shampoo and makeup, even though I don't wear much. Just because I can't imagine why anyone thinks it's okay to test potential harmful things on animals. And I've been doing that since I was really little. <laughs> my favorite pet that I've ever owned was actually a fish. I got him from my uh, biology teacher in 10th grade after we did this ecosystem project. I had him for two years before he escaped from his safe haven and was attacked by an aggressive tech fish. I loved Scotty. I named him after a gay character in the show Brothers and Sisters. Rest in peace, little fish. So, in a comment below, tell me who your favorite pet was, or is. Animals depend on us. They can't do everything by themselves. Isn't the love and snuggling worth it to help them? So I finally figured out what I want to call this type of video. This kind of video where I do the opinionated segments, they're going to be called Caitlin Gets Serious because I don't really think that they're considered a vlog based on the fact that they are scripted or they have an outline, whatever. So you will notice that the names of Eye of the Tiger, Gay Pride, and Don't Fall for Your Empathy have all had a slight name change. Thanks guys!